start here. We were just talking to Jay, you know, just about what it's like up in the booth. Do you feel like it makes much, you know, he's able to, he said he's able to see things different. What yeah. impact does that have to you guys on the field? How does that translate? I mean, you're, you're in the middle of a game, but does it translate yeah. much? I mean, of course we miss him on the field just because he brings a lot of energy to everybody and just mm-hmm. keeps everyone hyped. Um, it's definitely a little bit different up there, but I think the calls have been, honestly, a lot better. Just him being up there, just seeing, like, what they're, what formation they're in and just calling it. So I think it's been nice, too. So We talked a little bit after the game with you guys, but how how was that to be able to celebrate a great defensive performance for him, you know, bouncing back from what he's been through? Yeah, it was. it's honestly, it was nice. Um, we would have wanted no points, of course, on the board, but... Um, yeah, I think it was it was awesome just to be able to go out there after he had a hard time and just um, support him. So the fumble recovery—I was going to ask you about that. What's that like? Because all of a sudden yeah. you're like, "Oh, hey, the ball's there. I'm going to jump on it." And then yeah. it turned out to be a fumble. I think that originally they signaled that it was down. And mm-hmm. You're like, "I'm going to jump on it." Turned into a big turnover. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was watching him, and I his player was just like pitched the ball, and then I saw it come out, so I just jumped on it. But he didn't look down to me either, so. I thought, I so you it. had an idea already uh-huh. that hey, this this might this might be ours. And yeah. How big of a moment was that? Because they're in position inside the red zone, you know, inside the ten, where you know the game could have flipped. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all had to go watch it back just to make sure that it was a fumble. But um, it's definitely big. Just get them back out of the red zone, let our offense get back on the field. So. You're a veteran. You've been through this defense. You've learned it. What was watching that film? What was so effective? What were you able to do that was so effective at keeping them out of the end zone? Um, I don't even, like, I think our D-line and linebackers, they're getting pressure. We've never had pressure like that since I've been here. And it just makes it honestly easier just for the safeties, the corners, just to cover. Because we don't have to cover for six seconds anymore. It's two seconds, three seconds. So it's nice. You're getting ready to take on a Wyoming team that hasn't had a lot of success so far. But at the same point, you never know in college football when a, mm-hmm. a switch can flip. Yeah. So what do you what do you see from them, and what do you guys need to do? Man, we're just going to come into it like how we played all of our other games. Um, my dad's a Wyoming boy, so they're, okay, yeah. Yeah, they're tough tough guys. So they'll always come ready to play, and yeah, we're just going to come with the same approach. So What part of Wyoming is he from? Uh, Freedom. I don't know where that is. Where it's is a that? a small town, and then my aunts and uncles live in Star Valley. Oh, okay. You know where that okay. Is. okay. Yeah. So do you know the history then about BYU-Wyoming? I mean, uh, it's been a while since that history was real, but... Yeah, not as much. I heard that their fans are pretty crazy, but we love it, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Mom and Dad don't drill it into you, though, or anything? Like, hey, this game matters. You know, it used to matter a little bit more than kind of the rest of them? Um, he's always been a BYU fan, so he's never been like a Wyoming Cowboys fan, so not really. Same game.